So we don't prepare and move forward. That's a worse slow thing. You move forward and you prepare. You move forward and you prepare. You move forward and you prepare. You don't prepare and move forward. It's too late. So you heard me. You're going to move your right hand forward and prepare. Like this. Nice she knows she can play that game, she can be an international volleyer. <laughs> but remember, when you play that game, you don't prepare and move forward. You prepare as you move forward. If I catch a ball, I don't do this and that. I prefer as I move forward. That's a natural way. The coach just mess it up. The coach make the members look stupid. They say prepare, step forward. The ball passed 10 minutes ago. Okay? You move your racket forward and you prepare. You move your hand forward and you prepare. Did it feel quite good? So I will just, if I'm coach of a program, I just help her stay better, get her skill better, give your hand on the volley punch, you know. I just develop their skills so they can play better doubles. But it's not long. It's not long. So, and in Canada, when I was here, was I called uh, the professor or the doctor here? Professor, and you can call the doctor. They bring me people, a few minutes after, they look like good players, but you can all do that, as long as you know the final skills as coaches. This is not the way we volley. Okay, you have a beginner, prepare first, to be sure you don't get the ball in the face. But as soon as you have a certain level, show them how to volley effectively with the hand, and you just move forward, same thing with the back hand, move forward and prepare. So like this, if she always have a racket forward, the chance, the threat of being hit compared to that, this compared to that, it's reduced tremendously. Okay? Now, how do I coach a winning position? A lot of people teach like this. Personally, I teach like this. Why do you think I teach everybody like this instead of like this? So what was the answer? Better to block the body shot. Why is it easier to block body shot? So I put my racket like this because it's easier to block body shot? Yes, but why is it that? Yeah, you make a face like, that's what he told me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and <clears throat> what happened when I wait like this? Do you think I have a foreign grip now or more continental grip? But is it tough to have a continental grip facing like this? So people take a foreign grip and if the ball comes, they have their wrist like this, they hate it. So I prefer this. I said, yeah, what about when the ball comes in the foreign? Come on. It's, people have a lot of support there. But if they have a foreign grip, they have zero support on that side. So I make them wait with the back and grip. The uh, back and grip, not the back and grip. Continental is more in the family of slice back end and more in the family of back and grip than foreign grip. So the racket, to be natural, is more like this. Okay? But the coach still insists to wait like that. And four people when the ball comes at them, uh, so just that's natural. Continental grip, right hand's going to the side. You protect your body. You go in the back end. Okay, it's down. For the professional, I make them practice to change their grip with one hand. So look here. Which grip do I have? Eastern back end, right? Which grip do I have now? Which grip do I have now? Which grip do I have now? So we, they, they have to get used to change your grip. So the ball is low, foreign grip. I stretch angle, foreign grip. The ball is high, put away, back and grip. Do you see the change? Yeah. It came with my foreign, which grip do I have? Foreign grip.